The hands are, are always out. The flyer's hands go inside. So as the flyer, you want to always be really relaxed and just kind of... Come back down to the ground again. Shanti likes just to jump up there, which you can do as you get more comfortable. <laughs> but as you're learning, what you want to do is, as the base is, the key is um, a lot of people just try to push away, and that's not what you want to do. You or they just try and go out here and think that if they're closer to the ground, they're going to help. But yeah. so you want to walk up. You want to walk up. You want to pull the weight over the leg, so basically it's straight to the sky. It's not much of a move really when you get in the position. So, we we'll practice with that in a second. But this is folded leaf. This is the, the standard position in flying yoga. Great for your spine. Too. It's a nice inversion. Good um, lengthening of the, of the back of the spine. And so we like to massage necks and backs in this position and just hold someone here because this is, this is awesome. You'll get a lot of benefit just from this, this one position right here. As the base, your your legs should be 90 degrees. Um, shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be back there. I know. I always still have to work on. I'm getting 90. And I'm still kind of warming up this morning. But your legs should be locked out too. Um, so it's a bone on bone. When you're first starting, that's going to be tough. But that's what you want to work for. Hey, honey, no TV right now. Do a nice spinal rotation. Your Right hands underneath the shoulder, left hands on the opposite side, and push and rotate. Switch sides. And you can lift them up, Vatikanasana. So that's this position is called with their heels together. It's called Vatikanasana. I don't know why it's called that, but it is. <laughs> if we studied more yoga, we would know. Yeah, all the crazy <laughs> names. And you do a nice little rotation. If I were to bend my right knee, I'm going to bend my left elbow. A little, a little rotation there, a little twist. It feels nice. Okay, back to the big wide V. Hands behind the head. And then Chikta Chanti put her hands behind her head, fingers in her lace, and I'm going to grab underneath her arms and then push straight up and go until my arms are locked out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to drop my neck and my head and be really relaxed and let the face fly me instead of me trying to balance. When you're first doing this, you're going to push up and like, oh, should I, should I, where should I, should I, you'd be scared to go all the way up, but you want to go all the way up to your hands are, your And hands this is where out. if someone has a bad shoulder, just be sensitive to their shoulder. Yeah, it can be bad. And it's easier if you do this, that's hard. So have them tuck, you really want to tuck their you want, elbows. You want elbows in. You can pretty much grab the elbows with one hand. So elbows nice and in. You can also incorporate a nice little side stretch for where to bend the right knee. Drive and push the left foot, left toes. Nice push to the side. Nice little side stretch. You do the same thing with the arm straight. Shanti's arm straight. I'm going to slide my right hand down in to her wrist, index fingers between the wrists, thumb on the left side, my left side, and fingers on my right side. Same thing, you do a nice side stretch. This is crazy. And the nice one is Shanti, grab behind my head, I'm gonna elbows in tight. Nice and strong in my core, and I'm going to push with my feet and pull with my neck and arms. Yeah, a lot of times you'll notice with time people start doing this, and you just keep reminding them, feet to the ground, feet to the ground. <laughs> Big wide V, feet towards the ground. Because it's really, as you're, you're up in the air, it's disorienting, and it's really easy to just let yourself <laughs> Another variation on this move is Shanti to have her hands behind her neck, uh, but elbows wide and open, and kind of do a bear hug underneath the elbows and, and pull. I think Shanti likes to come through, I like to come through. my arms, which I don't like. Um, and pull. <laughs> so just to feel what feels good on the body, like what, what feels good for you to do and what how your body fits with the other person. Yep. And so, I'm going to move here. Shanti to rotate through. She's going to be... This one's more advanced and yeah, harder, so don't be... I, I still can't 
totally do this with Martin's heart. Um, so I'm going to lift Shanti up. I'm going to bend my left knee, open up her. I'm going to, what I'm trying to do is kind of rotate her hips as much as possible, which is going to open up her chest. And she wants her chest to the sky, heart to the sky. Um, left arms out to the side as a counterbalance. And, and head, you want your head relaxed. As she tucks her chin, you kind of tuck your chin. It makes it harder. It puts more weight. Or is it by just want relax? It, you want to just, just her being open that. helps balance, <laughs> balance it more. Really great stretch for the spine. That's great beautiful. twist. Okay, come back Same thing, other side. It's kind of a tough one to get into, but yeah. It feels nice. So, open up your head a little more. So from this position, we can do a move called Passerina. And it's an advanced move. It's kind of tough, took me a while to get. Um, but basically what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to rotate. I'm going to take my left leg, my left heel, to where my right toes are. And I'm going to support this hip with my left foot. And I'm going to bring her around and, and switch legs. So it's, it's a little hard to explain. It's a little better to just, to just do, but switch feet. Like so. That one's tough. And there's other ways to get into this position. Yeah. So that's the other thing is we'll show you easier ways to get in, but that's sort of where the advanced move goes. And I can do this with some people, but mm. I can't do that with Mark. Like he's too top heavy for me to flip over. Yeah. It's a nice position here when you're into you can kinda massage the neck. Work the sub occipital muscles. Great for the spine. Right at the base of the skull. You can add a little traction, you can Grab and pull a little bit. I can also bend my knees a little bit too and support her kind of on my knees. Gives me a little bit of a, a, little bit of a rest, a little break. Hey, then I can push okay, her up. Like She's going to grab her ankles. Are you about a or a plank? Plank. Like so we're going to go into, oh. we're going into back. This is transition into back oh. flying here. Supporting her shoulders and then feet on her, on her hips and thighs. And then I'm going to Take one foot, put it on its lower back, and then rotate the other foot. And she's going to come down slowly, slowly in the back flying. This is one of my favorite. Um, took a little while. It was I wouldn't have got it unless I took a class with Sarah Waka. Oh, I got, you know, I was kind of doing it, but I wasn't doing it right. Yeah, we learned a lot from them. Learned it, made it a lot easier, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So this one's really, really great for your abs and your psoas muscles, really. It opens up the body. You know, every, a lot of things we do in life, like, you know, sitting at a desk and whatever, crunched in, shoulders yeah. forward, everything compressed forward. This is really good to open, to release everything out. Okay. So that's back flying. Now we'll go back into where well, she's going to do a big wide V, legs up and over, and I'm just going to slide my feet tight to her hips. And I keep an eye on his toes because a lot of times clothing will hook up on and it makes it hard to do the movement. So I just want to keep an eye on that things are untucked. So back into Baddha Konasana. Now this one's kind of this one of my, <laughs> my harder, harder moves. It takes a lot of upper body strength. But the flyer is going to really tuck their chin, be strong in the core, make themselves into a ball as tight as they can. Take the left hand on the back, right hand on the lower back, and I'm going to rotate around and replace my feet on her hips. And then she's going to swing through my legs, find my hands, and get push up into bird. Remember this one? You did this one. Okay. You caught? No, I'm just trying to find you. <laughs> the happy place. Nice little the balance place. Yeah. <laughs> And it's always important just to keep breathing. Find your breath. So that was uh, yeah. Bird. Yeah. You go into chair. Mm. There you go. So great for the hips. Mm. Nice hip opener. Mm. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. And back to fold the leaf where you started. Yeah. And let me know. And this is our final move. This is the most important move. Well, it's just a, you don't want to come 
from inversion straight to your feet. 